Hi everyone, this guide will show you the document translation process using our Google Drive connector. Here's a folder with three files, one Google document, one Google Slides presentation, and one simple Google Sheet. Now let's translate them. I start by clicking the button and copying the link to the folder that contains the documents to translate. Then go to the SmartCat and click Set up new integration. Select Google Drive. Here I specify the name of my new connection. Paste the folder link which I just copied from Google Drive and select the source language. This is the original language of your files. In this example, it is English. Click Create Integration. Now I log in with my account. This should be the same account where you store your files. Allow SmartCat to access the Google Drive folder. Now we have a live connection with the Google Drive folder and can see the documents in it. From here, we can select them individually or select all with one click on the top left. Then select Create Translation. We have two options. SmartCat uses projects to manage translations and workflows. Whenever you send something for translation from here, you can add it to an existing project or create a new one. In this case, let's go for the first option. We choose the settings we want, the project name and source language, which is already pre-selected as English. Let's translate it to French. Next, we select the project workflow. Workflow refers to the sequence of steps performed on the translated material. To translate it, in this example, we select automatic translation and post editing, meaning that every string from my documents will be translated automatically and then sent to human reviewers for post editing. Here we have two options. The first is skip existing translations import. I don't have any translations in Google Drive yet. But if you already have any existing translations in the Google Drive folder, you can import them to use translation memory. We're going with a fresh document. So let's choose the first option and click Create Project. Once the project is created, we can go to Current Translations and see currently ongoing translations for three documents which we just selected. It shows the progress. You can see that half of the translation progress is done for the presentation. It means that the first part of the workflow, which was automatic translation, is already finished. And it's currently waiting for the second part of our workflow, the human review. Let's go to the project associated with translating these files. We see that the AI translation is done and all the files are waiting for the post editing. So we select files from the top menu. We see the same three files as part of the SmartCat project. Let's open the first one. On the left, we have the source strings. On the right, we see the automatically translated data. At the bottom, we have a preview of how the translated data will look in Google Docs. If we don't like how certain phrases are translated, we can edit them here and confirm my edits by clicking the check mark. Let's say we like how this translation went. Now we navigate to the other files. Let's check the Google Sheets file. It's also been automatically translated, and so has the presentation. Let's assume that I'm satisfied with the result. Now we go back to this interface and export all the translations back to Google Drive. Select all files and click Send to Google Drive. Here we have some options. First is whether to export only draft segments. It means that it will export any segment that has not been confirmed by a human here. If we select the second option, Intermediate, it will only export segments that were confirmed by a human at least once. They don't have to be finalized, just confirmed in at least one of the stages. Or we can select Final, that will only export fully confirmed segments. In this case, I am satisfied with the AI translation, so I select Draft. For the export languages, I select French as I only have French translations. My translation is exported. We open Google Drive and see a new folder called Translations. 
Inside are the new versions of the documents we wanted to translate. Let's check them out. There's the Google Doc, the Google Slides presentation, and the Google Sheets table. Everything's been correctly translated. Now let's go back to the SmartCat project. We see that the automatic translation is done and post-editing is already in progress. That's because I have already confirmed several segments myself. To invite someone to work on the translations, go to the Tasks tab, look under the Post-Editing tab, and select Invite. It shows supplier needed, that the translation is into French, and that there are three files and roughly 300 words to translate. Select Invite and choose an option. We can invite people from our team. We can invite agencies from the marketplace. We can invite any of the freelancers on the SmartCat interface. Here you can see different agencies. We can invite new members to our team via email or a link. We can also use AI suggestions which recommends the best translators for the content based on factors like language, topic, and price.